Hello, Luke here with CatsAndCarp.com, and I'm going to show you how to make catfish po' boy sandwiches that are super easy and so delicious. I'm also going to show you how to make homemade tartar sauce, which is about as easy as putting milk on cereal. Here are the ingredients you're going to need. You'll need finely ground cornmeal, not the coarse chunky stuff. You want nice and finely ground cornmeal. You'll need all-purpose flour. You'll need some buttermilk. You'll need peanut oil. You'll need some really nice rolls. You can buy hoagie rolls or quarter baguettes, but if you want to make the best catfish po' boy sandwiches you've ever tasted, then go to a local bakery, get some fresh made rolls. You want rolls that are just a little shorter than the catfish fillets. Next, get some fresh tomatoes. Not those sad pale tomatoes you see in the grocery store. Get a fresh off the vine tomato that's deep red and plump and juicy. I love to put fresh cilantro on my po' boy sandwiches, so grab a bunch of fresh cilantro too. Greens are an absolute must on a po' boy. I love butterhead lettuce. The locally grown butterhead lettuce you see here was about half the price of normal iceberg lettuce and it tastes so much better. Mixed greens are also great on a po' boy sandwich. If you can't find butterhead lettuce, you can use just the greens. Of course, you're going to need some catfish fillets. Make sure they're all deboned and of course skinned. I like the fillets to be only slightly longer than the buns and about an inch thick. A four pound catfish uh, does a great job, or about a half pound filet seems to be just about right. If you want big sandwiches, I do one filet per sandwich. You'll also want some plain old table salt. For seasoning, you want a little bit of classic Old Bay seasoning. For the tartar sauce, you can buy it pre-made or you can make your own. Homemade tartar sauce only has three ingredients. Real mayonnaise, sweet relish, and lemon juice. Okay, so let's get started. First thing you do is get the peanut oil heated up. Select a pot that is wide enough to fit your filet in and deep enough that the bubbling and sizzling won't slop oil out of the pot. You'll use about half a gallon of oil or about an inch to an inch and a half deep of oil. You want the oil to be about 350 degrees. This will be a medium low heat and it'll take about 10 to 15 minutes for it to heat up properly. While you're waiting for the oil to heat up, let's make the tartar sauce. Take about one cup of mayonnaise and add about six tablespoons of relish. Then add about two tablespoons of lemon juice. Mix it all up and you're done. You can adjust the amount of juice and relish depending on how smooth or tart you like your sauce. Next, let's measure out two cups of cornmeal and then add it to a shallow dish that's just big enough that fits the fillets. Then we measure out one and a half cups of flour and mix it with the cornmeal. You want it to be nice and thoroughly mixed up. Then we measure out two cups of buttermilk and pour it into another shallow dish. Now we're ready to soak the fillets in buttermilk. Make sure they are completely covered in buttermilk and let them soak for several minutes. Remove the fillets from the buttermilk and shake off the extra buttermilk. Then roll the wet fillets in the meal and flour until it's all covered in meal and flour. You'll get balls of uh, milk and meal stuck to your fingers. Take one of these dough balls over to the oil and use it to check the temperature. When you throw the dough ball in the oil, it should boil and fizz and take about four to five minutes to turn a golden brown. If it doesn't boil aggressively or if it burns quickly, adjust your heat and retest. Once the temperature is perfect, add your filet. It should take about five minutes to cook the filet. You can tell when the filet is done because the batter will turn a nice golden brown color and the filet will curl slightly on all four sides. Once the filet is done, place it on a paper towel to soak up all the extra oil and this will help keep it crispy. As soon as you take the filet out of the oil, sprinkle it with some of the Old Bay and table salt. While the filets are cooking, get the buns and fixings ready. Cut each of the rolls long ways. Cut the tomatoes into quarter inch slices and then sprinkle a little salt on the tomato slices. Once you are ready to make the sandwich, spread a liberal amount of tartar sauce on the bun and add the lettuce, the greens, the cilantro, the tomato, and then top it off with a fresh, hot, deep fried catfish filet. Right there, that's a perfect catfish po' boy sandwich. Mm. It's really good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that 
is how you make an extremely good catfish bow boy right there. Well, I hope you liked this video. And if you would like to see how to catch your own catfish, check out these two videos. And don't forget to subscribe to the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel for new videos every week. Thanks for watching.